Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3dgameman.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at the new Corsair Saber RGB mouse. Corsair's recent designs have been fresh and very well thought out. This includes cases, coolers, power supplies, memory keyboards, and certainly their mice. And this mouse is a prime example. So they're no stranger to computer hardware and gaming peripherals and they've become a trusted name in the computer industry backing their products with excellent support and long warranties. Now let's see how this product stacks up. Improving on the original Saber RGB mouse. They've updated this one by adding a 10,000 DPI optical sensor. The old one had an 8,200 DPI sensor, which wasn't too shabby by any means. It packs four zone dynamic 16.8 million multicolor backlighting, which is on the left side, scroll wheel, their logo, and at the front. It has eight fully programmable buttons. Omron switches, which will last just about forever, and the polling rate is up to 1000 Hz for lag-free responsive gaming. Now it weighs in at 100 grams, so it's rather lightweight, and was designed to accommodate just about any grip style as well. Being medium sized, it will fit comfortably in the hand, measuring in at 124 by 80 by 38 millimeters. I have medium sized hands and it does fit me really well, and I'm able to reach all the buttons easily, and this is something that I can't say for every mouse. There's a smooth matte rubber coating on the mouse, which offers excellent grip, but looks great as well. There are two buttons on the left, two at the top, the standard left and right click buttons, another at the top middle, and the scroll wheel, which doubles as a button. And by the way, the scroll wheel has rubber on it for grip and moves freely but does offer good resistance. Now keeping in mind that this is a rather lightweight mouse, and by the way, some people like that, and it doesn't come with a weight system, if you are looking for a heavier mouse, this one would probably not suit your needs. And by the way, I think it's best suited for first person shooter games, but of course it will shine as well with real time strategy and multiplayer online battle arena games. Flipping the mouse over reveals Teflon feet, which will allow the mouse to slide over any decent mouse surface with ease and the excellent 10,000 DPI optical sensor. Now it has a rather large USB connector, which will certainly differentiate itself from other connected peripherals and there's a long 1.8 meter braided flexible cable that connects securely into the mouse. And I have to say, the cable looks awesome and it's more flexible than others and that's a good thing as it reduces the risk of being tangled and allows the mouse to move more freely about. Although, some might still prefer a rubber cable. Next, let's have a peek at the Corsair Utility Engine software. The software is very intuitive and you can really customize the mouse with it. Within profiles, you can create a new profile, import or export profiles. You can assign the buttons to just about anything that you want. And remember, you have eight of these. I'll get back to lighting, but in here you can customize the lighting on four of the different lighting zones. And within performance and DPI, of course, you can change the DPI as well as the pointer speed, angle snapping, and lift off distance. Now you've got actions like, for example, you can create macros, customize lighting, and within settings, well, you can customize the settings of the software itself, like, for example, starting it when you start the system. Let's get back to lighting. First of all, I want to show you what you can do here. You've got rainbow effects. Now, if you look at zone one, you can have this rainbow effect and you can set it to a slow speed, medium speed, or fast. You can have a solid color and you can select whatever color that you like. You can shift colors randomly or you can alternate between whatever colors that you prefer. And again, you can change the speed as well as pulsing. Again, you can randomize it or you can select between the colors that you would like. Let's just say that I want to select this one and as well green. There you go. And you can also apply this to all the zones if you want to. You're really getting a lot for your money with this mouse, and I definitely recommend it to just about any gamer. Now, that being said, it mightn't be for the hardcore gamer, but it will certainly fit the needs of most, and you'll do it in style. There is a lot of mice in this category, and I know how confusing it is to try and select the right one, but this one does shine a little bit brighter considering what you are getting, and it comes with a two-year warranty. Overall, it's a kick-ass product. Until next time, 
Take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.